as a, the spring comes again this year, I think we're going to see it, you know, just really composting and fermenting and bubbling up and we're going to have this incredible global spring. I, I've been at Occupy Wall Street since the first day and I'm a documentary filmmaker so I went down the first day and I haven't left. And then as a, on October 15th, the movement moved from, uh, from Wall Street to worldwide, right? Um, that's when Occupy London started. At that moment, um, I was in Times Square and we took over Times Square. And there was like 5,000 of us in Times Square. And on the LED that was moving around, uh, you know, the, the news feed that was the NASDAQ and this and that, and then it went, Occupy movement goes worldwide. <laughs> And every time it came around, the whole crowd let out a cheer, you know. <laughs> so, um, so then I, uh, I started going in for this film, I started going to other Occupies. The first one I went to was Occupy Oakland. And I went there for the, uh, the general strike. And it was the, the day that we marched to the port with like 40,000 people and we shut down the port. It was a really powerful, beautiful experience for me. And their GAs are actually held in, in front of the, the Oakland City Hall, but it's got these huge columns and it's this epic building. And it's got this beautiful plaza in front. As is happening here, as is happening in, in uh, front of St. Paul's, as is happening everywhere, and we're seeing people taking back the commons, taking back the public square is that beautiful place of discussion, of conversation, um, what in ancient democracy in the Greek they called the Agora. It's like a, a, a thriving hive of creative ideas and solution building, really. You know, I, I've been making this trilogy since 1999. It was The idea was to go from the year 2000 to 2012. And I was seeing these movements sort of bubbling up. You know, one of the things about this global movement of movements is it didn't actually know it existed. Uh, Paul Hawkins, who talked about, uh, who kind of tracked this, he said, he called it blessed unrest. He said it's the largest mass movement in history, but it didn't even know it exists. And I feel like Occupy in some way is that same impetus. I think it's a natural arising, kind of coming up and discovering itself, looking at each other and coming into conversation and community and synergy with each other. And that's why I feel the international interconnections that are happening now are really important and, and they're happening naturally. I just came from Tahir Square in Egypt um, where the Egyptian revolution launched the Arab Spring which inspired this sort of wave of people um, hungry for freedom, hungry for justice, and hungry for a world that isn't based on a power over model. Uh, what we're trying to work for is a world that works for everyone and also for all life. This is a world where power is shared, where my power builds your power. I want you to have power and, and ideally you will want me to have power because together we can, we're all shining when we, when we are in our power. When power is hoarded, as with money, when money is hoarded, the whole system kind of grinds to a halt and ultimately collapses. So greed is not sustainable. Greed's destroying the planet. This movement that we're in and this moment in, in history is just a natural arising, and it's arising all over the planet. Um, I was also in Spain visiting the Indignados, who also had the, you know, were part of the European summer. Let's keep going, let's keep building, because I feel like what's next is this global spring. This revolution is a process, not a product. Um, and it's, uh, people always want to put it into a box and try to limit it, but that takes the life out of it. And I think it's, it's going to keep surprising us. Who knows, maybe Massive Attack and Radiohead will give a gig in the basement of Bank of Ideas. Anything could happen, right? <laughs> it always surprises me. So I, I think it's the most beautiful movement and it's the greatest love story on earth.